Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about how you can apply insights in Power BI to explain fluctuations in visuals. So often in visuals, you see the large increase and then sharp drop in values. And you wonder about what are the reasons that causes these fluctuations. With insights in Power BI, you can explain that very well by understanding each variable. So without a delay, let's get started. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as I upload Power BI videos regularly on this channel and you can learn Power BI in future as well. Now let's get started. I'm going to open up Power BI and here I'm in Power BI and my report has three pages and this page has a monthly sales showing up in a dark blue bars and monthly profit shows in this line chart. Now if we wanted to know about this November sales which is hugely decreased compared to the October sales in that case you can right click on it and you have this feature analyze so click on that and select this explain the decrease and it will show you all the charts and all the variable which are causing this change in this new window so it also provides you a text as well so easily you can understand and the chart there are four type of chart the first one is waterfall chart which easily can explain that what's going on here. So let's read this. So here is the analysis of 56.49% decrease in the sum of the sales between October and November. So first we notice that there is a decrease. That decrease is 56.49%. And now it's showing up the decrease by each variable. So our first chart is by date and the product. So sales by product. And it starts from the October where our sales was 12.4 million. And it ends up at November where our sales is 5.4 million. So what are the variables then from the product point of view? So it shows here in a text as well. So Caratera and Velo accounted for the majority of the decrease among the products. So these are the products and these are the big bars which we can see 2.8 million of each and they both are Velo and Caratera. So it's saying that these two products are mainly decreasing are heavily impacted the decrease among the products offsetting the increase of Paseo. So this product is actually increasing the value. However, all these are decreasing and because we are trying to find the variable which causes the decrease. So these two are mainly causes the decrease from the product point of view. Now, if you wanted to change the chart, you can change the chart, but usually I use waterfall chart so you can easily see it. Then you can, if you like this uh, explanation and you wanted to add this chart to your report, in that case, you can click on this plus sign and you can see here that it added that visual to, the, to your report so you can use it that. Now you can also give a feedback if that you think that it helped you. In that case, you can give a feedback as well. Now let's see our second variable, which is discount band. So low accounted for the majority of decrease among the discount band. So there are three discount bands, high, medium and low but mainly these three types of discount that, that they have and among them the low discount uh, or the low category of the discount band that is causing the major decrease with the 5.1 million. Now let's see the third variable. So the third variable it's looking at the country 
So you can see that Germany and France accounted for the majority of the decrease among the country. So this too, 2.8 million Germany and 2.3 million France and the relative contributor made by United States of America. So here it says US which is marginally positive value. So it is positive contributor. So these two are the major contributors. So that and let's see our fourth variable which is by segment. So the government accounted for the majority of decrease among the segments. So you can see that 4.4 million decrease shows under the government. There are other segments as well like channel partner, mid market, enterprise and small business but they are lower contributor though. So once you check it and there is a clear contributor then you can use that chart into your report to show that is the reason and you can add that into your report. So Insight feature uses machine learning to carry out all this data and presented it to you in a, in a one click and you can use that in your report and easily understand the reasons that causing the increase or decrease in your visual. So this is all about how you can analyze the data just in a few clicks and understand what is going on in a large increase or large decrease in Power BI. So guys this is all about this insight feature which uses the machine learning uh, algorithm in Power BI and if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.